everyone, Cynthia Luhu here. I'm going to show you how to make some Melissa Francis uh, look-alike brooches um, out of your Carla 001's items. And uh, we're going to be using the blingy mesh, the black blingy mesh, and the Rena bling. And also, um, it's going to be very easy. Um, I... I've just been having trouble finding these, the embellishments for sale anywhere, so I thought I might as well make some. So since Carla's items look so close to the actual embellishment, I'm going to use these. So you want to cut a strip. This was just a strip that I cut off here. And you're going to want to cut one of these single Rena blings and clean off the threads a little bit. And I'm going to use hot glue. You can use your glue of choice. And I'm going to measure around. Okay, so it looks like it's about seven little blings to go around. And I'm just going to start hot gluing. right on the side of it. You could stop there and totally use this for like a flower center or something. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue a large um, strand on the outside. And to clean up your little glue strings or any little spots of glue, just grab your heat gun and run it over it and it'll melt all of the little hangies.
There you go. There's a brooch look-alike <clears throat> that would make an awesome embellishment for a project. And next, we're moving on to pearls. Okay, so I grabbed some of this bling mesh. You can find this at Carla001 and a big pearl. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a strip off. And I'm going to make it a little bit pliable, so I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. And now I'm just going to start gluing it around the pearl, starting at this hole. And you just start gluing it around, staying even at the, let's call it the equator of the pearl. individual pearls and I have some right here and I'm just going to put them in between each bling make sure my hole is running sideways so they won't show up Okay, and then another thing, you can use the Rena Bling. You can use it as a setting for pearls or bling or beads. And glue your, let me see, you can glue your beads right in there. Just like that. just depending on what look you're going for. So there is three different ways to make vintage looking brooches for your projects or anything you want to use them for. They're just beautiful. They make beautiful embellishments and very easy to make. Okay, thanks for watching. Love you all. Bye.